Hello everyone, this is the uh, first lesson um, in harmonic motion. So we're going to talk about straight, we're going to straightforward dig into the equations. So the first thing we're going to do is, this is the equation of motion. So that x is basically the displacement This is another way of basically so this is the equation of motion we can express this entire equation in this form basically a different form x of t equals to a cos brackets omega n t negative and a phase angle. So that's how we're going to express that. <clears throat> this is from trigonometry. If you go back to trigonometry and you can review this basically, you can combine two cosine, uh, uh, one, one cosine and sine function into one graph if you add the graphs we basically have a phase difference and an, another another amplitude the resultant amplitude all right so now if we let a1 let's use different colors for this a1 equals to a cos <clears throat> and a2 a sine phase angle <clears throat> This is what we get. Now we're going to square both equations. Oops. We're going to square both equations. So that was the second step. We square both equations. Now we add a1 squared plus a2 squared. Now what will happen is <clears throat> we can basically now factor out the a square and then we'll have this relationship sine squared and this basically Is equal to one. And go back to red. So a one squared plus a two squared is equal to a. That's what we determined from this analysis. <clears throat> Oops, missing an a square there. <clears throat> Hence, we can represent a as square root a1 plus a2 
squared. And that's our second, well, that's basically the same thing. All right. <clears throat> so now we're going to go back and do, <clears throat> so X, if, let's go back and use another color. Okay. So X of T is equal to A1 cos omega N T plus A2 sine omega N T. That's our harmonic motion equation. What we're going to do is we're going to use initial conditions. Use, let's use a different color. Use initial conditions. to determine the actual variables or values of A1 and A2. That would make more sense, so let's go back to the color. So initial conditions apply or imply x when t is equal to 0 is equal to xo. And <clears throat> when x naught is equal to at time equal to t equals 0 is basically x naught 0. That's basically the displacement. I'll use a different color. <clears throat> displacement. And this is velocity. How are you in on time? Okay. Let's go back. So Using these initial conditions, we'll find out what the values for <clears throat> A1, A2. Let's go and true. Okay, so basically, let's go. X equal T equal zero is A1 goes omega and we'll put a zero there plus phi. That not right, and then <clears throat> plus a two sine. Sorry about that. Sine omega n zero. So now we'll go back. So cosine zero is basically one. So that's going to give you a value of 1. Sine 0 is basically just a 0. So x at t equals 0 is basically a1, which is equal to <coughs> x oh, according to this relationship here. Now let's do the Let's do the velocity. So let's first derive x of t. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is omega n a1 <clears throat> sine there's a negative there. <clears throat> omega n t plus Omega n a2 cos omega n t. Basically, 
what I did there is so I'm again this constant is a constant and t is a var is a variable so you're respect you're basically what you're doing is you're deriving uh, x the displacement with respect to with respect to time so this is a relationship you're deriving so basically so deriving cosine gives you a negative and this term comes here so that's your equation there let's move on that should be pretty solid there and now let's do the initial conditions so x of t equals zero equal to <clears throat> negative omega n a1 sine omega n times 0 plus omega n a2 goes omega n times 0 that will give you <clears throat> so evaluating Sine zero is equal to zero, so this is this whole thing is going to be zero. Coefficient times zero is going to be zero, and then this cosine will go to one. Hence, omega n. Oh, wrong color. Omega n a two is equal to x dot zero. So. <clears throat> Let's rearrange, so rearrange, let's use a different, or let's just stay, stick to this color. Rearrange for a2. So a2 is basically equal to x dot over omega n, or v o over omega n. So that was our first relationship. I think forgot to do that for this. Oh, actually we did not. So a1 is basically x uh, so we have these two. We've got the values for a1 and a2. So let's write that down. So a1 is equal to x dot a2 is equal to. <clears throat> VO over omega n, which is the same thing. X omega n. And now let's plug in these into the original equation. Let's do that when you use red. So x of t is basically x o oh sorry no, actually, that was right. Sorry about that. Cosine omega n t plus not over omega n sine omega n t. This is basically the equation, the harmonic, the general form. This is basically the general form. form for harmonic motion equation. So now, let's suppose you want to find, let's say, so now, as we have discussed and talked about that before, this is the actual form. So Let's say you want to find the phase angle. So phase angle phi. And then you want to find obviously <coughs> oops. You want to find the amplitude. A. So we've agreed that 
amplitude is to a, which is equal to a1 squared, oh, a1 squared plus a2 squared. That's going to be, so, squared plus x uh, uh, over omega n squared. And now if you want to find the, amp the uh, phase angle, simple as saying <clears throat> this is what we're going to do we're going to go a2 over a1 that's going to give you a sine over a cos that's going to give you tan So tan phi equal to a2 over a1, which is basically your phase angle. And that's going to be tan inverse. Now oh, let's do the a2 over a1. So that's going to be. Rearranging basically x not dot omega n so oops okay so that's pretty much it thank you. So just a quick uh, comment that I want to add in here. So let's say if we let a1 equals to a o sine 0. Oh, that's too big. And then a2 equals to a naught cosine. then the result will be pretty much the opposite. So x of t is going to be a o sine. Sometimes it's good to, <clears throat> sometimes harmonic motion is represented using a sine function. So that's when this would be appropriate. So a o is basically a. We just use another uh, another symbol here just to differentiate from what we had before. So x naught plus x naught omega n close brackets uh, and your that's going to be there and so that's just assuming another form. Basically, in the beginning. We assumed that a1 and a2 was, or oh, a1 was a cosine phi, and then a2 was a sine phi. However, when we rearrange and and do another form, we just a1 equals to a o sine. This is the form that we'll get. This is the general form of this equation here. So we'll get this equations. Okay, thanks you very much, and we'll see you next time.